This is the biggest misconception. They says the algorithm hates me. How many times have you heard that? That's Daryl Eves, the YouTube mastermind who has generated over 65 billion views, helped 27 creators get their gold play button. He wrote the Wall Street Journal best-selling book, The YouTube Formula. And he's the guy behind VidSummit, one of the biggest events for creators and marketers. All right, so I sat down with Daryl to discuss the fundamentals. Once you understand the foundational elements that you need on YouTube, you can replicate that. And once you understand it, it's unbelievable the amount of impact that you can actually have on the platform. We'll cover four key principles in this video. Plan. It's not just uploading a video and you're putting your creation out there, but. Execute. If I start a new channel, where do I get the ideas and how do I understand the I said is already out there. Analyze. You know what? Your baby's ugly. That's not a very good video. Not, oh dude, keep it up, man. That's a really amazing video. And it was like a piece of crap. Like you gotta, you gotta be able to have. And adjust. I think every creator should not be intimidated by um, not having things not work. All right, so Daryl has taught some of the smartest creators on YouTube, and this is a condensed version of our hour and a half interview, and I really hope you get some value from this. First up is plan. And now, this isn't just about planning content. It's about planning content for your audience. Let's listen. Well, now let's figure out a strategy of let's let's say what are the commonalities what is the the type of person that really would connect to this content this is where a viewer avatar is going to be useful it's a detailed profile of your target youtube audience but it extends beyond just the basic things like age gender and location i don't care a hill of beans about demographics it doesn't mean anything to me in the sense of understanding how to connect however i use demographics to know how to talk or know how to edit because generationally we process things a little bit different right and so i know how to communicate with them but the makeup of who they are is is more in the psychographics, what they do online, what they do offline, what are some supporting things that they might like? What are some TV shows or movies that they'd like? I try to really paint the picture of what that is just so that I know how to speak to them. When you're creating content with a deep understanding of who your audience is, you're more likely to create content that they'll like, subscribe to, and ultimately share. That's the essence that most content creators don't think. They think about, oh, I gotta get the best title, I gotta get the best thumbnail, or I need to edit like this creator or whatever. And they don't really realize, wait, who's watching this video? <laughs> All right, now what planning done is time to start executing on your video. But now that you have the demographics and psychographics and you're understanding their viewing behavior, there's a specific way that Daryl suggests that you execute on the video. And he did this exercise with me. Um, so why don't you um, give me a channel that could be created and then you give me like an idea for a video and we'll come up with uh, the title and we can kind of go through my process that I go through. I want to build a uh, fitness channel. Okay, a fitness channel. Okay, so really quickly, the first thing I'm gonna ask, who, who's your audience? Let's do an audience of people who are on a weight loss journey. They, they've gained weight, they wanna lose weight. They wanna lose weight. And why do they want to lose weight? To feel healthier. So if, if I was doing it more for people in their 40s, um, I would kind of position it differently than I would do people in their 20s. And, and there's a difference because I'm telling you, once you hit 40, you're starting to feel your health <laughs> or the lack thereof, right? And so you would perceive and package it differently than, than you would in your 20s because 20s, you're just, you're there. Hey, you might have gained a few pounds or you, you maybe want to get into shape. Um, and, it, and it's like a different type of approach. And you might say, well, no, it's for everyone. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Like, it, it can't be for everyone. You have to figure out who you're speaking to. If not, if it's for everybody, nobody's going to watch it. So, um, you know, I, if I was doing it for a four-year-old, you know, um, like a before and after always works. So you can have a split screen thumbnail. That would be so amazing. Here's here's five secrets I did to lose 30 pounds in 40 days. On the flip side, let's take someone in their 20s. It could be, hey, I, I might do an experiment because that age group actually likes to see social experiments, believe it or not, okay? What happens when you don't eat sugar for 30 days? And so I always want to do where it's like that curiosity factor. Well, what happened? I can see the transformation or what would this do? But you have to be able to communicate it to the right audience and approach it the right way. Then you're ready to actually make the video. But that's not the end of the process. You need to analyze and you'll be doing it twice before and after you upload your video. 
All right, so how exactly do you analyze your content before uploading? I wanna make it clear. If they didn't show anybody that video before they upload it to YouTube, that's the worst thing they could ever do. You gotta get some feedback, man. Like, like get some people that actually fit that vein that are willing to tell you, you know what, your baby's ugly. Um, that, that's not a very good video. Not, oh dude, keep it up, man. That's a really amazing video. And it was like a piece of crap. Like you gotta, you gotta be able to have someone watch it and give you feedback and you have to be willing to take it. I always, always have seen success when two or three creators like start masterminding, sharing their content and getting feedback, but they all have to be willing to be educated and learned along the way. This is why having a community of fellow creators can be a huge value to every YouTuber out there. In fact, I have a group chat with other smart creators on YouTube where we share our videos ask for feedback, and then make adjustments. This has been an insane way to boost the performance on all of our videos. And if you're looking for something similar, we have a Discord channel that you can join and speak to other creators and get feedback on your content, including shorts, thumbnails, and so much more. Now, after uploading the video, it is time to analyze the performance. You're gonna be looking at retention graphs, likes, dislikes, comments, anything inside of YouTube Studio, you're going to use it to optimize your next video. Be open to changing things, even if it means getting rid of things that you actually enjoy. Our example is there's a lot of comments that we get on our videos, some of them are negative. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie, it hurts sometimes. But I don't get offended. I just take that feedback and apply it to future videos so at the end of the day, we get better content out to you all. All right, now the key to making all of this work is the last stage. All right, quick pause. I wanna tell you about VidSummit. It is a incredible event. If you wanna network with the top YouTubers around the world, learn how to grow your channel faster, or just hang out and have a ton of fun, then you need to check out the link pinned in the comments below so you can join us in person or online, and if it's too late, there's always the replays. All right, back to the video. Now the final stage is adjust. In this stage, you're going to take all of the insights that you gathered, what's working, what's not working, and apply it to future uploads. Now, in our interview, Daryl and I did not go as deep into this as I would have liked. So what I wanna do for you for making it this far into the video is sharing with you my personal method of improving our channel's content. This is a strategy that I've used that has led to some of the most popular and successful videos on this channel, and it's called the four helpful questions. When you're reading comments or in YouTube studio looking at data, you should be asking what's right. Is there anything in my videos that I should keep doing or optimize? Maybe it's a topic that gets a lot of engagement or a style of editing that my audience loves. What's wrong? Is there anything in my videos that you could change or get rid of? Maybe it's a thumbnail and title that's not getting a great click-through rate, or it's that intro that's causing you to lose half of your viewers. What's missing? Is there anything that you can do to improve this video or add to future videos? Maybe viewers left comments asking for something that you didn't include. Or maybe you can improve the current video by adding chapters or captions that viewers are asking for. And finally, what's confusing? Is there anything in my videos that should be clearer? Am I using words that my viewers just don't understand? Is this video out of place with the other content on my channel? And so on. By taking the time to ask yourself these questions, you'll quickly be able to look at your analytics and one, you'll know where to start but two, you'll be able to adjust as necessary based on the answers. And if all you're doing is improving by 1% or even a half a percent, you're getting better every video. And one day it's gonna magically take off if you're consistently bringing value for a viewer that every video that you watch will actually resonate with the viewer, YouTube knows what to do with that. Okay, I really hope that this video was helpful. If there's somebody else you would like us to interview in the future, leave a comment down below and I will try my best to make that happen. If you are a creator and you want to know 11 YouTube settings that will help you get more subscribers, get more views, make more money, all those things, watch this video next, subscribe, and I'll see you over there.